The 25th anniversary of the annual June 12, 1993 election has been marked with special occasions. President Mohamed Buhari and Lagos State Governor Akimwami Ambade both held various events to celebrate the winner of the polls, the late Moshud Abiola. Now, former Edo State Governor Ash Adam Oshimale also hosted the families of the late Abiola and the late Ghani Fawahini to a dinner in Abuja. This next report takes a look at the events used to mark the day. It was a moment that took so long, but to many Nigerians, it was worth the wait. After 25 years and three democratically elected governments, the federal government of Nigeria has finally honored the winner of the June 12, 1993 election, Moshuda Abiola. President Muhammadu Buhari conferred a posthumous honor of the Grand Commander of the Federal Republic on the late politician. The president also used this ceremony to apologize to his family. What we are doing is celebrating and appreciating the positive side of June 12th, the June 12th, which listed democracy and freedom. The June 12th that overcome our various divide, and the June 12th that produce unity and the nation of cohesion. This is the June 12th we are celebrating today, and we will nurture it to our next generation. Accordingly, on behalf of the federal government, I tender the nation's apology Habiola was not the only one honored. His running mate at the 1993 polls, Babangana Kinjibe, and late human rights lawyer, Gadi Fawimi, were also conferred with the honor of the Grand Commander of the Ninja. The accolades did not end at the ceremony at the Aso Villa. A former governor of Edo State, Adam Soshomole, also hosted the families of the deceased Abiola and Fawaimi. <laughs> Speakers at the event, Eurogize both icons. If Nigerians are angry about June 12th, it, is, it was a statement that we are not ethnic, we are not detained as a people by ethnic sentiment. The ordinary Nigerian understand that his essence is not defined by his accident of birthplace. But I hope that we will get back to a country where you will win or lose election not on the basis of the religion you claim or you profess or where you are born. Until we get there, the struggle must continue. We must not let the next generation forget what happened. This is why we're here tonight, and we must not give up on that struggle. Is that he taught all of us that in the pursuit of justice and the pursuit of the rule of law, there was no friend or foe. You may quarrel with Ganifa and me today. He may disagree with you today. But tomorrow, the moment your rights are being violated, he will be the first person to stand up to defend you. After 25 years, a quarter of a century, from the booth, President Wally surprised all of us. Frankly speaking, I was flabbergasted. To hear, I thought I was dreaming. You mean we are now recognizing June 12th struggle? We are revalidating the election that was criminally allowed 12, 25 years ago. Elder son of late Ghani Fawemi, Mohammed, and daughter of Abiola Hafsat also responded to the honor bestowed on their parents. I feel very elated, I feel very proud, and I am very, very grateful to President Buhari. Knowing the circumstances, being a, an ex military man, and still taking that decision. And I believe the nation will be proud of him. I think that the lesson that I would hope that politicians learn is that, um, you know, exigency is not, you know, this short-term thinking 
doing what is in our self-interest is not really what will bring us honor in the end. What will honor us, what will honor our name, is for us to do what is in the interest of Nigeria and the people of Nigeria. The Lagos State Government has also honored both icons. Governor Akiyumi Ambode has launched huge statues in honor of late Moshuda Abiola and Gani Fawayumi.